If you use Bamboo Studio for multicolor prints, you need to see this. I found hidden color regions inside my model, totally invisible from the exterior, and they added extra filament swaps and hours of extra print time. And the crazy part is caused by one simple mistake. I was working on my Bamboo AMS repaired torture test when I noticed, while it was printing, I noticed these white infill lines that are in the base layer. And as you can see, they're completely invisible from the exterior of the model. That adds extra time, extra swaps, wasted material, more poop, and it was caused by one simple thing. I wanted to change the lettering on the front of this model from white to black. So let me show you what it is that I did. So when I looked at this model, I wanted to change those letters from white to black just because I, I didn't like the way it looked. I felt like black would be a better contrast. So I clicked the model. I came up to the paint bucket here and I chose black. Then I chose the fill and I came down and I looked and I was there. Oh, perfect. It's an object that I'm able to just move along and I can paint it. And so I paint each letter here. Bear with me. Take me a second to do it. So I went great. And then I went ahead and I sliced the print. So here we have the sliced model. And I want you just to pay attention that as I come down, pulling the slicing down on through, once I get down below, now see I'm into a solid red exterior. And you can see some white particles here and a little bit of white end fill but i'm going to go and i'm going to turn off the seams so that it takes away any confusion there is white left over in the corners and in the fill where there shouldn't be any and i want you to pay attention to this geometry right here because when i changed the lettering from white to black it altered the geometry as well. The simple fix for making sure that this does not happen. But before I do, I just want you to see the extent of it. So I'm going to zoom in here and I'm going down layer by layer. You see those little white spots cause a filament swap for every single layer where there is no white on the outside. And here's a crazy distortion in there of adding white where something went uh, buggy with the software to end up creating white infill uh, like that from my just painting the letters. So we move on down through. You can see there's still the white in the corner here and over here. These are all swaps, every layer. So there's where the black begins. So that makes sense. But now I'm going to show you exactly how to fix this. Okay, so I was lucky before the fact that this model is made up of multiple objects in the fact that I was able to use that paint tool to be able to change the letters individually. The thing that I didn't know was the fact that it was going to distort the geometry of the model. That's one and two that it was going to leave those white streaks through the middle of the model after i changed it to black but the correct method to do this where you will not alter the geometry and you will get your black lettering is to come over here and go from global to objects these are all the objects that are inside that model you want to find the one that says spider-man so I'm just clicking this one, that's the eyes, here is the lettering. So what you do is you right click it and you're gonna come down and you're gonna change the filament to black. So now the lettering has been changed to black and has not altered the geometry and will not send white streaks through the base of the model. And so I'll just go ahead and slice it. So now here it is, it's sliced and I'm gonna pull it down to the layer so you can see that it is clean. So I'll turn off the seams so that you don't see the seams, but there you have it. It did not alter the geometry. See the front end is still nice and rectangular. It didn't have that long angle going inside. If you found this video interesting or useful, please like and subscribe for more, but otherwise watch this video next.